And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Audience have another chance to check out the play, What Do We Do Now? The first run sold out. There will be another performance Sunday, June 4th at the Deluxe Theater here in Houston. Joining me now in studio are the stars of the play, Calvin Kasha, Jeremy Can, Paul Infante, along with the play's writer, director, Kevo. Glad to have you all here on The Factor Uncensored. So, Kevo, to have your first running of this sell out like that yeah. what was that like for you it was beautiful because my cast I, when i the process of me casting it i wanted the best talent i could find in mm -hmm. houston I, I was like i want the best singer because the play ends in a song and i found calvin i wanted the the best comedians i can find and i found i already worked with uh, jeremy can and i and me and paul had done so many movies together that i said okay i know I know that we're going to kill this performance. So I just, I was, it was beautiful. I, I wasn't worried about anything. So to sell out, I, it was what I expected. And the first showing, did you get a chance to go down into the audience as they were leaving and get their response? And, and what was that like to have them praise your production? That was, that was great. It was, so after the intermission, actually, people were clapping and standing up and we were surprised about that. Mm -hmm. And there was a woman who, um, who was in the, the the crowd? And after the play, when I was shaking people's hands, she said, "I." She said, "I watch plays all the time." She said, "You must. You when I heard you were an artist, you have to be because this is the most creative story I've ever heard in my life." And that was a huge compliment for me because it was like for somebody to be a theater goer and to say this is one of the most creative stories they've ever heard. Uh, that was a big deal for me. And, and what is the plot of of your production, your play? The plot is you take modern times, right? You take African American history now, and you say, all right, it's 2023. What if I threw all of our issues into 1965? Mm -hmm. That's the plot. They're in 1965 dealing with all kinds of random issues, this one family. And you get to see everything from social injustice, um, the war on drugs, trafficking police brutality, just a lot of things African Americans go through. And it is a comedy slash drama, but the plot is essentially the, the idea of it being right after Jim Crow. Mm -hmm. And what did you want the audience to walk away with once they saw what you put together, your brainchild? What did you want them to walk out of that theater knowing and thinking? Well, or thinking. <laughs> well, well it's, a, it's a message that goes throughout the play. Um, that's why the title is a question. And it says that... Um, the, the, the message is basically to be effective. And um, I, I think that's a really big deal for our youth and uh, just people in general that a lot, a lot of people don't, don't realize their actions sometimes are not effective. And, mm -hmm. I, and, I, and that's really the, the, the overall message of the play. All right. So you guys have a scene you've prepared for us. Let's take a look at that scene. Oh, yeah. Set it up for us <laughs> and I'll get out of the way. Oh, yeah. No, nah, I'm going to let them go ahead and do it. Y'all go. Take it away. All right. Look, fool, I'm really sorry about your pops, fam. I really am. But I feel like your pops will want you to be the man of the house, you know, take care of your family. And I know we can do this, but we have to do it with some common sense, fool. So I think you'll feel a whole lot better if you either take these drugs or you sell these drugs, fool. Now, me personally, I don't want to be the one taking them. Do you? Nah, man. My point yeah. exactly, fool. And I think you'll feel a whole lot better if you smoke the fools who did this to your pops. Any idea who you think could have done it? Nah, I literally came straight here. Um, All right, fool, don't worry. Whatever, man. If I hear anything, I'm gonna let you know because Big Pablo is always in the streets, fool. Got your back, watch it, bro. Every Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy! Hey, hey, fool, he talking to you? Oh. Man, y'all ain't Jimmy. Y'all hey. know where Jimmy at? Hey, Holmes, who is Jimmy? Who is Jimmy? You out here selling dope on his corner, don't know who Jimmy is? Hey, fool, I sell dope on any corner, Holmes. All Man, right, get out of right, here. All right, all right, all right. Hey, What's the matter with you? Man, man, Jimmy gonna kill y'all. Especially you. Ugly. See, that's why we don't smoke that stuff, fool. I guess, man. What, 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 what do we do now? All right. Great job, guys. Great job. And for those who want to see this, Kevo, where can they go to get tickets, more information? Uh, you can and really there. quick, name your performers here. Oh, I'm sorry. Jer Jeremy Can playing the crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin Kosher is one of the lead characters of the play. Paul Infante is playing Pablo. Um, you can see the play at Deluxe Theater this Sunday, 7 p.m.
And uh, you can get the tickets from my website, artbykevo.com. We're going to be doing a lot of different plays throughout the year. Uh, my Instagram is Kevo Arts. And yeah, that's, 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 that's it. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on a great stage sure. play. And of course, if you want to check them out, make sure you go there and get that information and follow them on social media. And great job, guys. Thank you all for joining Appreciate us here on The Factor. Thank you for joining us tonight. Make sure you check us out on social media and, of course, Fox Soul. Let's all wave goodbye, guys. We'll see you back here next time. Have a great one.